Welcome to my store. Okay. 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 So what we've got here is this is sort of the, the density of, of typical homegrown phytoplankton. Um, some people are able to achieve it getting a little bit darker. Um, this is sort of what we typically see um, in a, in a homegrown culture. Um, so right now we've got basically the algae disc here in 500 mils of water or, or approximate. Um, and that's what you're starting at. And basically we've got about a liter and a half of water in this vessel here. So about one and a half times. Um, and you can see that it's reasonably green. Most people are happy with that. From a concentrated perspective, I've got roughly 200 mils of concentrate still left in the bag. And I'm just going to show you how concentrated this, this phyto is compared to the home, what typical home grown stuff is. It's getting good and green. So, as you can see, we now really you can't see my can't hand see through, it. through no. it at all. Um, so cost-wise, we're looking 15 bucks. Um, Way better value, yeah. Much better value. There's no salt. Um, minimum, very minimal salt additions. And as you can see, it's a nice, thick, dense uh, culture compared to some of the other stuff. Plus, you have the convenience of it's in your fridge. You just go grab it, put it in, and Absolutely. put it away. You don't have to collect the pop bottles. You don't have and, to have some space. And, and for those that are that are married, um, that's pretty obvious. Don't drink me. It's not enough to do. Um, we we've had some uh, some spouses complain that their fridge gets full of this green stuff, and they really weren't sure what it was. Um, I have had the odd email here and there that said my kids got into it and thought it was disgusting, um, not realizing. Well, the hair No, absolutely not. A little salty, but little, little, little on the salty side. But the uh, they won't drink much the, of it. The phytoplankton uh, is, is actually good for you. There's oh, okay. So if they have to slip up, a bit of health benefit here. So hopefully we've got sort of done a quick tutorial on uh, on how to do the, the final plank at home. Uh, if you've got questions, uh, something I haven't explained here, uh, something Carl is not able to answer in store. By all means, send us an email, uh, info at reefcrew.com. Uh, we're pretty good about getting back to people or an email really quickly, and uh, we'll be more than happy to answer the questions as far as what you potentially did wrong, what's not working for you. Um, we're, we're here, you know, as much as we are here to, to get in the business and we're, we're here to make money, uh, we also want to see the, the success of the hobby uh, grow, and that we're more than happy to provide that information back to the hobby that can help uh, get people doing it at home and uh, getting it to a sustainable reef. What would be a good amount of, uh, like say you've got a 90 gallon tank with lots of coral? Another great question. Uh, one thing that you will notice that is not anywhere on our packaging is dosing instructions. Yes, I noticed that. Some people curse it, um, other people are okay with it. The reason we don't put dosing instructions on it is because everybody's tank is different. Um, everybody has different corals, different fish. It's been established longer, sand beds, no sand beds, fusions. So I can't give you a proper... Uh, can you put too much in? No. Can you put too little in? Yes. Yes. Um, so therefore, if you put a bag a day in, it'll be great? The, 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 gen the general rule of thumb that we use is put as much as you are comfortable putting in yourself. Some people can live with their tank looking like this nice dense culture for 24 hours. Other people... If there's so much as a leaf and a green tin or hue to their water, they freak out. Well, I usually put two or three tablespoons in a 90 gallon tank, and yeah. you see a bit of a green tinge, a bit of a haze, it's cleaned up usually in about 20 minutes. So, yeah. um, so what we say is if, if you have a choice to feed at night, um, it's better to dose your tank at night because the critters that typically feed on the phytoplankton are more active at night when the fish uh, aren't out um, ready to consume them. Um, if you have a skimmer, if you're able to turn your skimmer off even for a short period of time, um, that would be fantastic. The good visual as far as did you add too much is add as much as you're comfortable, go look at your skimmer. If your skimmer is full of green, you've added too much. Um, because at this point you're just skimming it out of the water, you're not, you're not really benefiting uh, the system. The skimmer will not take 100% out of it in a short period of time. No, because um, it has to go through it the, has skimmer, to go through the skimmer, skimmer and then the whole thing. So, if you put enough in that you know within four to, four to six hours you've got a nice uh, clean tank again, uh, you will find that 
you are going to start off with the small amounts, and then you're going to end up adding more and more and more, and it will be consumed over the same amount of time. Well, the so micro lights in your tank will expand to the food source. Absolutely. So, the, you know, people so ask, that consistency would be the big thing. Right. Like you, you get to a level, and then you stay at that. That way, absolutely. there's always the food for the animals that have uh, multiplied to that level. Absolutely. So, we we've got uh, you know people uh, that, that refer to it as as reef crack. Uh, we're not thrilled about the uh, that the term, uh, but basically what they find is they fed it for a number of months. Um, their tanks looks fantastic because they provide the food food source for all the things you don't see in the tank. They boomed up with walker populations, thus feeding your corals and your fish. And then they say, oh, the tank looks great. I don't need it anymore. And they stop feeding. Um, and now you basically starve out all the all animals. Things, and you, in essence, end up with a mini uh, tank crash. Well, so it's, it's consistency. By having the micro life in there, you're filling all parts of the food chain. Absolutely. If not just you're feeding your fish and then uh, the food and stuff sits around, you got all the micro life in there that uh, just keep everything in balance. So can you feed too too little? Yes, because you, know, you don't have enough. If you don't have there, enough, you're not going to get the life. Can yeah. you feed too much? Yes, because you're you're just going to skim it out. Um, you're or wasting. Or you're but you're not going to kill your tank. You're not going to kill your tank. Um, it will get consumed um, one way or the other. Either we can through, it'll either get consumed through your uh, tank, or it will be mechanically removed over time through your uh, your skimmers and other uh, filters that you may have on your system. Um, it's great for cycling tanks. If you've got a brand new saltwater tank, you know you're going to end up with that ammonia spike, you're going to get that nitrate spike. Guess what? It's a plant. It thrives on it. Suck them all up. Your tank will go nasty green. It will go really, really green, especially if you leave your lights on. It's a good thing in a, in a tank cycle. It will mean that you've got a fantastic food source for everything that came in on your live rock to now reproduce in mass quantities while maintaining your uh, your water chemistry. So it will speed up the cycle? It will actually speed up the cycle. And, okay, a lot of times in a new tank we'll get that diatom out to the ground. Mm -hmm. Will it stop that? It by outcompeting? It, 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 it'll outcompete. Um, the diatoms will typically see once the water is more clear because uh, it's looking for the, the light yeah. to get things going. So you're not going to get a lot of light penetration with the bio because it's taking all the, the light in order to reproduce. Yeah. Once you've got the, uh, all the microorganisms that are now consuming the phyto, your light penetration is going to be able to penetrate back into the bottom. You're, you're probably going to end up with a little bit of diatom, but at this point you've got solid water chemistry. Um, so you should be a lot less than you would have otherwise. Until um, you run through that little part of the cycle. Yeah. yeah, likewise, uh, new tanks, the, the red slime, again, if you're competing for the same nutrients that the red slime is, is, uh, is competing for, this is beneficial, the slime not so much. So if you went to a tank and it was established and they hadn't been doing water changes and feeding the lake and stuff like that, and there was red slime everywhere, could you conceivably throw three or four bags of uh, this in yeah. and just it'll and clean up the red yeah. slime a lot faster? Because it'll actually suck up all the nitrates uh, that are in the, in the system in order to reproduce the, the phytoplankton and then you now have no food source for your red slimes. And so when the red slime starts to decay, it'll use up those nutrients rather than get a uh, hypoxic area where your uh, yeah. oxygen is depleted and then your fish die. Because yeah. the nice thing is, again, it's a plant, takes in CO2, gives off oxygen. So would you suggest leaving the lights on for that period of time? I, I've never done actual uh, physical experiments to say if one way works uh, best. Um, certainly the, the phyto does need some light in order to reproduce, so some light is good. Um, I don't know if I necessarily recommend keeping your lights on 24-7. Um, again, you're into other issues like heat, uh, and trying to maintain water quality and, and temperature in your tank. Yeah. Um, because it's not so much for the phyto that you're, you're doing the temperature, you also have everything that's on your live rock that you get into your tank, and leaving lights on may actually disturb them uh, or actually kill them. Yeah.